Yeah, but you can make a ton of different arguments. Let's focus on Arenado, what you think he brings to the table. We've seen the average. We've seen the power. The glove is special. He seems to be the package. Yeah, came glove first when it came down to him positioning. But I, I love this bat. But you start thinking about how acrobatic he is defensively. He possesses an absolute cannon of an arm. But it is very athletic. There's a lot of range. There's not one play that he shies away from. Makes his shortstop look better. Has the ability to make uh, that left side. It's, it's a no-free zone when it comes down to hitting the ball over there on the ground. Nolan Arenado, to me, is a spectacular player, but also makes things look very easy when it comes down to it because he has that arm strength to really make up for some lost time. You remember when Walt Weiss was there before Buddy Black took over? Walt would say he could play shortstop in the big leagues. Yeah, that, that doesn't surprise me at all. And obviously, you start thinking about Manny Machado when it comes down to a guy that's played third base at, th at that level. I think he just sticks there. You're just wondering moving forward, is he still in a Rockies uniform because of how talented he is and I think he's a top five player in the game of baseball. So can you play? Can you pay him when it comes down to him staying in the Rockies? Well, how good is he? We asked his manager, Buddy Black. The numbers that he's accrued, uh, how he's done it, uh, you know, the the consistency of you know his play, and then you combine that with the defensive side, uh, what he does, which is special work. I think anybody who's watched games live and watched Nolan over the years realize what a great player he is. Nolan's, you know, in these conversations is, you know, one of the best third basemen to, to play. Can't really argue with that for sure. So Nolan Arenado in the night in the lineup tonight for Buddy Black.